Don't do that. Like how trying to explain <laughs> this. You shouldn't laugh, but you do. So today we are going to check out Bill Burr's stand-up routine on the Just For Laughs channel called What Separates Me From Effing Psychos. And I came across this video in my suggestions. I do enjoy a good bit of Bill Burr. Uh, I don't take him too seriously, as you shouldn't with comedians. Um, but I'm curious to hear what he has to say, because sometimes I do think I might be a little bit of one. I think if you don't think you might possibly be one, then you probably are one. Before I get into today's video, do be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, you're gonna buy a nice bit of jewelry and it's gonna turn your whatever you're wearing it on green. Also, check out Patreon and channel membership for more videos of me and Shoestifer and more personal, private, behind the scenes things, as well as my second channel where stuff and things are happening. I am such a. I am in such a Bill Burr mood today. I'm excited. Oh, he's so a, uh, young. Bad mood. All day, man. Got in a fight with this girl the other day. You ever meet somebody like within like the first couple of minutes of them meeting you, they feel like they can like sum you up? Just like, you know what your problem is? <laughs> you know, you just have like the urge just to take their head and just mush it into whatever they're eating, you know? <laughs> you ever have crazy thoughts like that? <laughs> can you relate on any level? You never have like urges? You ever drive down the street and see like 30 people up on the sidewalk and you just think, <laughs> You don't I don't do drive. It. You just think it. That's what separates the psychos from the functioning psychos. <laughs> yeah, psychos, they just do it. Hey, all right, that's a good idea. <laughs> they get the wipers going, they make a day out of it, right? But a rational person, you, you like think it through. You start going, you man, if I just leave my hand right here, nobody knows who I am. I move it two degrees over here. I'm on the cover of Newsweek. I'm instantly famous. Right here, no one knows me. Like, hey, Bill, you want to go to the cookout? Maybe you can bring that potato salad you brought last year. It was such a big hit. One of the most horrific scenes we've seen in years. Bodies just strewn about. You know, Amy's going to be there. She's still asking for you. You should ask her out. No indication he even tried to stop. Seriously, you're getting older. Put your hands on the dashboard. Put them on the dashboard. You have those? All right. You shouldn't laugh, but you do. No, I have that stuff all the time. I do. My girl took me to a street fair recently, right? You guys have street fairs out here? You know, they close off the block. There's like shawarma. There's like stuff made out of buttons, right? People with no teeth are making keychains, right? What? It's a typical girlfriend idea. It sucks, and it's going to take all Saturday, right? She's all excited. She's like swinging my arm. Oh my God, this is going to be great. I'm like praying for lightning. You There's loved some, like, it. Scaffolding to fall down on me, you know? No, we show up, right? The first thing she sees is this big table and nothing but homemade jewelry, right? Homemade jewelry. It's got twigs, macaroni in it. It's just, it's a table of crap. It's crap. The whole thing is crap. But she loves it. She's like, oh my God, look at these earrings. Do you like these? Do you think these are nice? I just want to be like, no. If they were nice, they'd, they'd be in a store, all right? There'd be a roof, some sort of structure would be built around this. This is crap. This is just a table of crap. The guy's even wearing shoes. That's a good indication that this is crap. What? But I didn't want to ruin a day, so I'm like, yeah, go ahead, check it out. I'm going to go get some air. Even though we're outside, I think there's more air to be had, right? <laughs> so I walk like three, four tables away and I come up to this lady. She got this big table of nothing but muffins. Muffins, right? It's I like love 85 muffins. degrees out. She's selling muffins and she's got this big stupid, hey, look at the muffins I made. Look in her face. And the second I saw that, that part of my brain was just like, dude, what would happen if you just walked up and just said, hey, lady, uh, are these your muffins? Oh, yeah. And I just started going, blam, 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 blam. Don't do that. Like, how many of these muffins could I mush? before anybody did anything. I mean, realistically,
realistically, I think I could have got the whole table. I think so. Yeah. Because even if you saw me doing that, it would take at least five to six seconds to process. Like, did they say he could do that? Is, is it like a game? Do you eat the muffin off your fist? That just seems like a waste of pastry. You know, there's no security at a street fair. There's no bouncer staying there. He's mushing the muffins. Okay, I'm on it. Sir, we're going to have to ask you to leave. And they just choked me out. So I just started thinking of the horrified look on this lady's face as I started slamming these muffins. And out of nowhere, I just started laughing like a maniac. <laughs> Wait, I'm like slumped over this fried dough cart. I'm dying. My girl looks at me. She's like, what the hell are you laughing at? And like an idiot, I actually tried to explain <laughs> this screwed up thought to her. I swear to God, yeah. I'm just sitting there like, I was just thinking, what if I started punching the muffins? You know what I mean? I just started punching him. <laughs> She's just looking at me like, why do I go out with you? Are you, you still together? God, if I never broke eye contact the second I started hitting those muffins, that lady, she wouldn't even been able to call for help. I would have been in her head. She'd be like, did I go to high school with this guy? Why would you do that? Yeah. Muffins are a happy food. I, I don't understand this. <laughs> No, I gotta learn to, uh, I gotta learn to let stuff go. I do, I got issues. I do. My neighbor got her, uh, got her dog fixed. Got this oh, dog no. neutered, brand new oh, dog. No. Oh, okay, prepare yourself for something horrible happening to the dog, yeah. Got the thing neutered, and I'm like, what the hell, what the hell did you do that for? She's like, well, you know, if I didn't do that, he was gonna hook up with another dog, then they're gonna make more dogs, and what are we gonna do with all these dogs? Responsible. It's like, why don't you just let them go? They're animals, they'll be fine. I think that's what every city needs. Just a nice pack of wild dogs just running down the street. It'd help with the obesity problem. Just chase people in the cars after they eat some big meal, you know? Just a nice pack of Rottweiler just running down the street. Listen, I'm out of time. You guys were awesome. Oh, Thank that's it. No dog side. Great. Well done, Bill. I have much appreciation for dog not getting in trouble at the end. Okay, so yeah, some very <laughs> jokes. But also, I freaking love the bit about the moment. I haven't laughed that hard in a really long time. Well done, Bill. Very good joke. That's it for today. See you guys on the other side. Bye. Do we have bloopers? Sound rolling, camera rolling. Are you still not used to the clap? It's been a very long time we've been doing the clap. Chewy, do you want to be in the video? Do you want to come be in a video? No, nothing happened to the dog at the end. He was fine. I also chopped your bits and bobs off. I didn't personally do it, but I did sit in a car park crying my eyes out, hoping that you came back to me after the thing happened. Also, it was good though, because you were you were humping a lot of teddies at the time. Well, actually, he did hump a teddy last week.